Hey physics peeps, this is a review for the unit four test on energy. So there's gonna be one question that you'll do for uh, this and it's gonna be something similar to this. So let's just quick read what this says. A little kitten falls uh, from rest from a tree branch that is two meters above the ground. When it lands on the ground, how fast was the kitten moving? So to solve this one out, we had to deal with energy because there's different kinds of energy that are uh, that we keep track of and that this kitten has. And so the types of energy that we'll be dealing with are these. There's potential energy and kinetic energy. There's equations that go along with these. So for potential energy, it's M times G times H. The M is for mass. The G is for gravity, and the H is for height. So like height above the ground is what we're talking about. If it's on the ground, the height is zero. Okay? But for gravity, the number that we use for gravity is 9.8. For other things, we used to use negative 9.8. But here, when we're talking about energy, Energy is just 9.8 and that's it. It's not negative. It doesn't really have a direction that we're talking about. Um, but the other equation, kinetic energy, it is one half times M times V squared. The M stands for, and the V stands for velocity. So things that you gotta remember here is especially this square. You can't forget the square. Um, when we solve this out, and some things that are useful is to draw a picture, write out our rule, and then show our work, and we'll work our way down to getting our answer. Um, and there's some things that you'll end up kind of seeing as we go through. But it's kind of like, what's happening? Well, we got this little kitten that's up here in the tree. Boop, 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 boop. And there's our little kitten. Oh. There's our little kitten right up there. Um, and then afterwards. It falls out of the tree and lands down here on the ground. There's its tail. There's its head. There's its ears. You know, it's a kid. Um, so, but really what we're doing is we're splitting it up in before and after. And this is how our problems are gonna be split up too. Okay? Uh, because when we're talking about energy, energy is conserved. It actually stays the same uh, from when the kitty started to when the kitty ended. However, the type of energy changes. Okay? So we're going to take a look at that. The rule, when we say that these energies change, it's the kinetic energy and the potential energy of the kitten before is equal to the kinetic energy and the potential energy afterwards. So the amounts of each type of energy can change. However, the total energy, it stays the same. And, but they don't tell us the energies. We have to calculate them. So that's where we have to use these equations. It starts off kinetic energy. It really doesn't matter which one that you start off with. You just got to choose one and that's fine. But the rule stays the same in any problem. This is EK plus EP equals EK plus EP. Or you do EP plus EK equals EP plus EK. Anyway. And, but <clears throat> for the kinetic energy, I just put in stuff that I didn't know. It's one half. Great. That just stays one half. Times the mass. I need the mass of the kitten. Oop, they didn't tell us. Let's change this a little bit. Oh. 0.5 kilogram. There we go. Um, a 0.5 kilogram kitten falls. Um, they'll give you the mass in the other problems. This is my bad, so I apologize. So I put in for the mass, 0.5 for the mass. Um, times the velocity squared. I need the velocity of this kitten. Well, we're talking about before they fall, and they fall from rest. That means that their speed or their velocity is zero. Well, that's nice because then that means that this whole equation just becomes zero to begin with. Plus the potential energy. This is still talking about before the kitten falls out. The kitten's up in the tree. 
I need the mass of the kitten is 0 0.5 kilograms, because that's what we said it was. Okay? The gravity is 9.8 times the height. And now this kitten, before she falls out, is two meters above the ground. So I put in two for the height. Equals. I'm going to deal with the same equations on the other side, and you'll have to excuse they're cutting down a tree in my backyard. So <clears throat> if there's noise that's coming on your end. Now I need to use these equations again, but this is after the kitten falls out of the tree. Okay? So when it lands on the ground, how fast was it moving? And so I deal with the kinetic energy equation again. It's one half times the mass. We said the mass of the kitten was 0.5 kilograms. Oops, we'll take out the unit. Sometimes the unit gets a little funky. Times the velocity squared. Well, here, be careful about this. When the kitten lands on the ground, the speed isn't zero. The kitten is actually coming down and landing on its feet at a certain speed. That's what they're asking us to figure out, is what speed are they actually landing on the ground at? We don't know what it is, so if we don't know what it is, we leave it as V. But you got to remember, it's V squared. So you got to leave the square in there. M plus the potential energy. It's this equation. It's mass. The mass of the kitten is 0.5 kilograms times gravity. Gravity, it's just this 9.8, sorry. Times the height. Well, the height here, afterwards, it's not two meters anymore. The height is actually just zero meters because the kitten is on the ground. So the height is zero. I scratched this stuff out. Okay. Then, let's see. That's kind of what we got. No, this is really the hardest part is going through and setting all this up. I first just kind of drew my picture of what was happening before the kitten fell and then after the kitten fell. And I wrote out my rule. This is the same rule that happens each time. It's EK plus EP equals EK plus EP. It's just that it's the same equations, but there's different things that are happening before and after, specifically with like the height and the speed. The heights and speeds are changing. And so the speed of the kitten before it fell, it was at rest, so it was zero. The height, though, it was up at the tree, it was two meters. Afterwards, it was on the ground, so the height was zero. And the speed we're trying to figure out, so we left it as V. And we just remembered, put square in for the V, all that kind of stuff. And now that we have it set up, now we can go through and solve, okay? These things that had zero in them, we could cross those out because they end up being zero. But these things I have to end up multiplying. I have 0.5 times 9.8 times two. If I do that, 0.5 times 9.8 times two, I end up with just 9.8. And that's just the way that it worked out on this one. It comes out to be different in other problems. Equals, and now I have 1 half times 0.5 times V squared. Well, I can't, I don't have numbers everywhere, but I can actually simplify this little piece here. 1 half times 0.5. Or if it's like, instead of one half, you want to have 0.5 times 0.5, you push that on your calculator and you get 0.25 times V squared. And just gotta show you too, 0.5 times 0.5, I got that 0.25 in my calculator. Okay. But what I'm really trying to solve for is this V to get it by itself. So to get V by itself, I got a couple things that I need to do. One, it's B, uh, I got to do my orders of operation in reverse. I have a square and I have multiply. I have to get rid of multiply first. So I have to get rid of multiplying by dividing each side by 0.25. When I take 9.8 divided by 0.25, oops. Divided by 0.25, I get this, 39.2.
equals. This isn't my answer though, because this didn't actually solve out for the speed or the velocity. It's actually v squared. I want to get just v, but the way I undo a square is by taking the square root. And so you can find that on your calculator. You'll see the symbol that looks like that. When I take the square root of v squared, I get v. And when I take the square root of 39.2, I can, uh, if you do this on your calculator, you'll see the function. If you're doing it on your phone, you gotta flip it sideways. And you'll see there's kind of a couple of them, but you need to do the one where it's the square root and it has a two above it, rather than the one that has a three or a y, and do the one that has a two. You get 6.26. You get a lot of decimals in this one, but you could just give out two or three decimals, and that's fine. And this is what we get. But notice here, we got our speed. And so speed, its unit is meters per second, and that is our answer. It should come out positive. Energy, we really don't talk about negative, uh, positive negative directions, all that stuff, even though the kitten's going down, all that stuff. So that's how you solve out this type of problem. So good luck with that. Let me know if you have questions. See you guys.